Okay, I've got a little old wax here that I've sort of broken out with a kitchen knife out of the residual heat device. Stuff that's ran down the side and landed in my candle holders and you think, well, what do you got that for? Well, what you can do is you can get like a little pot or even like a little stainless steel or enamel cup, uh, heat the wax up in it and let all the rubbish float to the bottom, the old wicks, the uh, bits of ash basically from the wick having burnt, um, you know, bugs and stuff that may have got in there, and you let all that sink to the bottom, and then you pour off the good wax um, into wax moulds, and you chuck out all the stuff that's all contaminated sitting on the bottom. Now these little two light candle things, don't chuck them out straight away, you can actually reuse them. Uh, some of them they claim to burn for eight hours, I've found they burn for about six hours. Um, and what you can do is you can get more wick from an art and craft store. Many men don't know this, but most women do. Uh, and you can buy, you know, over here it's worth oh, about a dollar a metre. Get a little pack for, like, a uh, four metre pack for four bucks. Um, quite frankly, us Australians get majorly ripped off for the stuff we buy comparative to Americans. So go to Walmart, go to the art and craft section, I'll bet you you'll get a, a whole four metres for, like, a buck or 50 cents or something like that and what you can then do is basically refill these tea light candles but before you do that there's these little things sitting in the bottom and they're basically something that holds the wick straight and upright now here's another different design um, they're basically just a little bit of sheet metal with a little notch in it um, and you can basically take to a soda can with scissors and if you didn't know it beforehand soda cans are very easily cut with scissors cut out a little circle just a little tiny one um, and lay that circle down on a bit of scrap wood a bit of firewood get a small nail and give it a whack with a small nail in the middle to create a little indentation and hopefully your nail will actually have like four like the end of it will be like a pyramid and then you get like these four little prongs you know either side um, and you can feed your wick through that um, and have that in the bottom before you pour your wax in and you say well why should I use a tea light candle as opposed to just make a real candle well quite simply a real candle will use nine inches or so um, of wick these will use half an inch of wick um, the real candle might burn for about the same amount of time but instead of using nine inches of wick, you use only half an inch of wick. Um, and it's imperative that you do have those little metal things because if the wick falls over, what does happen? And I've seen it happen. The wick will actually be burned away and then it'll fall over into the molten wax and put itself out. Um, but the idea of these tea candles being in these things is basically all the wax becomes molten inside them and then it holds the wax from running away whereas a usual candle it just runs away and runs all down the side and then you end up with whole heaps of stuff like this uh, and then people just turn around and chuck it all out and it's a waste of good wax um, if you ever wonder why you need candles it's always good to have a few because there are times where well the sun don't shine or you're trying to do something pretty extreme and you're drawing a bit too much out of your inverter or um, you know, something hasn't quite worked quite right. Maybe you didn't set your solar system up right the first time and that solar panel isn't connected and isn't charging your battery and you end up with a flat battery. Another one that's a big one, um, of course, is... Preppers know about this one. It's called electromagnetic pulse. Now, it's a long explanation, but type in the Carrington event. C-A-R-R-I-N-G-T-O-N event and you'll find out that there are times where it didn't matter if you had a solar system or not the power was just going to be out because of a particular scientific phenomena um, which also caused trouble in Canada in so either 94 or 96 and they had the power go down for about six months but if you're Canadian you'd know a lot more about it but um, nothing wrong with the old candles they always come in handy not just for light but also for warmth